All right, so Evan Leakes posted this initially, but then was reposted by Ice Universe. And it's some leaked diagrams of the Galaxy Z Fold 5. And yes, if you thought the outside display was going to be exactly the same as Z Fold 4, you'd be correct. And the inside display is exactly the same too. I mean, if I'm being honest with you, and I told you that this was a Z Fold 4. Other than if you knew that the hinge was that much smaller, you would probably believe me. Let's be honest. So, yes, it is a 6.2 outside display, a 13.4 millimeter thickness, a 6.1 millimeter thickness when it is, of course, all the way open, a 7.6 inch inside display, 73... 4,400 milliamp battery. I don't speak Spanish. So I don't know the translation there. But 73 hours and 21 hours. My guess is it's talking about talk time. And I would say video time. But 21 hours is a long time for video time. Not sure what that one. The camera specs. We have a 10 megapixel, a 50 megapixel, and a 12 megapixel. So, of course, it has updated camera sensors, which is actually what matters. The actual camera specs, you know, megapixels don't matter. It is the actual sensor. The sensor is from the Galaxy S23, so that is a pretty good sensor. And then the second one they have here is, of course, the difference in sizes from Z Fold 5 to Z Fold 4. And here's the big difference is the thickness when it is unfolded is 6.1 versus 6.3. And that's why you're getting the upgrade. And if you watched my video yesterday, or actually, was it yesterday? Or, yeah, last night. I talked about how, you know, the brand new OnePlus that's coming out on August 29th is going to be a rebranded Oppo Fine N Fold 2. Or Fine N Fold 3. We don't know exactly which one. Literally, OnePlus is just taking Oppo's phone rebranding it, and selling it in America. We already know Oppo has had three generations to perfect, to perfect their phones. It's not a first-generation, first-gen product, guys. It's probably going to be cheaper than the Galaxy Z Fold 5. Right now, we're talking about $1,300 to $1,500. You're going to get a third-generation product, less money, Come on now. This is, I'm just saying this is not a hard decision here at this point. But if you do love Samsung, then you might just want to go with Samsung. And there's nothing wrong with that. So anyway, though, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. Z Fold 2, 3, 4, 5 all have the same exact outside display. And it's going to be like that probably to the Z Fold 10. I've said it before and I'll say it again. If you don't have competition, you fall into the same category, same issues we fell into with Apple. You get the same product every year, and there's no difference. And thankfully, OnePlus is bringing Oppo to America. We're going to get some competition there. Google is going to continue to perfect their Pixel Fold series. <clears throat> Microsoft will continue to crap the bed. And hopefully, in a couple years... We see some actual, a lot better phones than we see right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.